All right, we got an ugly looking seat here. Big old tear in the cover and the cushion's all messed up. And this one's just about worn out. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace these covers. Uh, the head restraint clips, because the Ford requires you replace them. And the cushions on this seat that is out of a 2019 Ford Interceptor. First thing you do, get the head restraint off. You push that clip in, then you take a paper clip and there's a hole in the side of this little clip. You push the paper clip in there, releases it, that's out of there. All right, then you're left with these clips in there. You get those out, basically jam your screwdriver in, and there's just little clips right there. You push that in and it lets them come out. Yeah, that part's done. All right, then you have this lever and this lever are held on by little clips. So basically I just use a little thing like that to get them out here. See if I can, oh, well that one I don't even need to do it. But that's what I'm talking about, a little clip like that. A lot of times I gotta get in there and I, I pull it off. To get this one, I say a lot of times, but I've only done this maybe four or five times. I just figured I'd make a video because a lot of people seem to be intimidated by doing upholstery work. And being a mechanic is, what, 80% uh, just being willing to dive into things, 50% skill, and 10% not caring if everything adds up. <laughs> so I'll get this clip out of here. Let me see here. I'll just scan it. See that clip? Not gonna be able to get this clip on the camera. Oh, clip is off. I dropped it down in there, that's great. All right, here's a clip for this one. It fell out when I flipped the seat back over. <laughs> and it just sits in there like that. You shove it in and then when you push it down, it locks it on. There we go. Take this screw out of there. Alright, I believe there was a screw back in here. Okay. And before we can get to that stuff, we gotta... Let's flip around. Yeah. Again, I am no upholstery expert. Just kind of learning as I'm going here. Alright, so we got this little thing right there we gotta take out. Now, well, since we got this part, I believe, right here, let's take this. This is just two plastic clips here. All right, so this is a police vehicle. We got this, which is kind of cool. It's all in there. Metal stab panel, so you can't stab through the seat. Ain't very thick, though. Alright, got that out of there. Now, Ford was kind enough to hide a little nut up in here. Or a screw, I should say. I'd show you, but you can't really see it very good. But that's hidden up in there, holding that on. Oh, don't do that, you scratch her up. There. Gotta get that on camera. Take that little piece out. Then they got a connection there. You can do it! And that piece is out. I believe that's it. It's been a while. Yeah. That's just little clips. Sometimes these stick on. Just peel them back off. Stick them back onto the, the clip. Alright, that's all. Pull this. Pull that. Alright. <clears throat> we got our boom bag connector here. Okay, boom bag connectors are always yellow. There's a little red tab there. Flip that up. And then it'll let you unplug it. Alright, we need to do more than unplug it though. We need to yank that off of there. See that? Then we need to yank this part off. 
way to make it look difficult. Not everyone could make it look this difficult. I had years of practice making it look this difficult. Come on, buddy. There we go. Now this part. Alright. That's out of there. We'll flip the seat like this. Feed this connector through. Oh, give me my tool. Oh, there we go. The boom connector is out. Maybe let's start on the bottom. I got that one ripped off. Basically, they're just plastic clips that bend up underneath and clip onto this metal. All right. So this will give us a little more room. Oh, it ripped. Good thing we got new. All right. There, we got that out of there. Simple enough. Now we got a lot more room. We're feeding this through. Alright. That one's off of there. Now, push that through there. Alright. Now, it's just a matter of camera here. Pulling her up. Alright. Here's the first deal, okay? And these seams here on the backrest, they have hog rings going to little plastic pieces on the seat. Alright, we'll yank them out. get that cover there is one clip they have going into these well two clips i should say see that there covers off and foam you have this cut out for the boom bag you just make sure it doesn't uh, hook on that and boom you have a naked seat so basically you got your boom bag here you got your adjuster for your back, which is pretty simple, just a string, or not a string, but a metal cable. And when you tighten the cable, it forces that out. All right. This is your back adjuster. And this is your, uh, what is that thing? Oh, that's for that, duh. And then your connector that controls that little motor, that little motor down in there, right there. And that moves your seat all around. And that little motor. All right, simple enough. There she is. Now we'll start putting her back together. All right, first things first, we'll stick on the back cushion. It's got this nice little cutout here for the boom bag. All right. Stick her on there. All 
That is simple enough. Make sure she's on there nice and tight. All right, now time for the cloth. All right, we got a new seat cloth here. I turned it inside out. This is where the hog rings are gonna go. All right, they're gonna go through these. And then if we spin this seat around, you see these little divots there? There's a metal bar in there and you gotta clip the hog rings around there. All right, and then there's Velcro strips. Okay, so you look on the inside of the seat cover and these Velcro strips stick to the Velcro and these are where the hog rings go. All right, now to put the hog rings in, got this little pliers made by Nipix. And basically it's just a pliers with a little slot that holds them and it's spring loaded so it always closes itself. These are the rings I bought to use. That's the size and that's what they look like. And when you stick them in the pliers, that's what they look like. these seams. You want to make sure when you're pulling, you're, you're conscious of these seams because when this airbag deploys, this splits apart. So it's kind of made to like come apart. So <laughs> you don't want it to come apart when you don't want it to come apart. So you got to be careful with that. All right. And then you make sure you pull it down tight and there's these holes that uh, the headrest clips go into. But basically you just, you want to make sure she's snug down tight on here before you try putting in any of your hog clips. I don't know that you could do it without pulling it in tight, but you never know. Some people have some special talent. All right, we'll get our first ring in. I always start in the center. I put it through that hole, crimp it into that center hole, okay? And then if the other sides don't line up, it's not that big a deal to me. I still just, I stick them through this hole and then, because that metal bar runs all the way through there, it doesn't necessarily have to be in these spots, but I always line up the center one. And I haven't had any issues with uh, doing it that way. And like I said, you see how I have that one centered? Well, these holes here are nowhere near close to the, on either side, to that indent. So I pay no attention. I still, I run it through these and then around that little metal bar. And a lot of times I reach my hand behind the seat and push out on the foam from the back side to help me get that clip in. Close. Now, if you're wondering what happens when you squeeze these, that's what happens. Now, for this seat, on the bottom here, you have these plastic rails, right? These plastic rails, see these cheesy little clips they got in there? It basically just clips into those. Simple enough, eh? Alright. So, let's see if we can get one on camera.
Got them. Yeah, all right. I'll get the rest of them. All right, we got those all clipped in. Now we gotta try and wrestle it out here. And it's simple, but it's not easy. If that makes sense. First thing you got is you got this big plasticky piece, right? You gotta worm that in between the bottom of this cushion and underneath all this stuff. Sounds easy. We wrestled her through. She's on the other side of that part. So now the next step is we got to get this uh, connector back through everything. All right, now that we got the air co bag connector connected back through, we just start clipping these clips back on. All right, so like this, it's got that little clip there. You flip her upside down, put her on the metal. She's clipped. This one went right there. Basically, you just go around, clip this bad boy on. piece has one flat spot, find your flat spot, good to roll. And you take this one, and you can see the teeth are spaced a little different. So you figure out your spacing, just like that. Make sure you're over the hole in there. And you really want to make sure they're pushed in all the way, otherwise you'll never get that headrest in. Get this one in. Force uh, Velcro into the grooves, work the wrinkles out, and it'll be good to go. That is one seat. Fairly easy to do, but a lot of people are intimidated by it. Just figured I'd show you, just in case you ever decided to tackle your own, that it's actually pretty easy. Just take it slow and get her done. <laughs> 